Hey guys, Pro 1701 here. Today we are going to unbox some Doctor Who stuff. I have a package that just came in the mail today that I've been waiting for that I ordered earlier this week. And it is some Doctor Who related material and it's some Doctor Who episodes. Some I have seen that I haven't seen in a long time and so a couple that I've never seen before I'm going to get to watch this weekend. Very excited about that. <clears throat> but they come from... Uh, some box sets I'm pretty sure we're not going to get for a while. You know, they're all 60s Doctor Who stories. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be a while before we get a 60s box set. So we're going to have a look at these new stories. Because I'm going to get to watch some Doctor Who I've never seen before this weekend. And I'm very excited about that. And, hmm. Bad boys over here. That's the first one we got here. Well, of course, I am Region 1. We have The Beginning, the first three Doctor Who stories with William Hartnell. Now, you guys know I, I'm not the biggest Hartnell fan. I only own two of his stories so far. I own The Ark and The Tenth Planet, because everybody needs to own The Tenth Planet. <clears throat> now, I have seen An Unearthly Child, but the last time I saw it was about 2008. I've seen The Daleks. But the last time I saw the Daleks was also about 2008. So they're due a rewatch and a good review. And I've only seen episode one of The Edge of Destruction. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that before, but I have seen episode one of The Edge of Destruction. But again, it was way back then, and I wasn't, I couldn't figure out what was going on. I remember Barbara acting all, not Barbara, Susan acting all crazy and like coming at somebody with a knife. It was really weird. And it was all taking place on the TARDIS. I remember that. Um,. Oh, wow, that's something you don't expect to see very often, a color photo. That's okay. And also, it'll be nice to see all the behind the, all the, oh, wow, the pilot episode. That's pretty cool, including outtakes and then uh, the creation of the Daleks. That'll be cool. Over the edge. Yeah, that's, I think this is going to be fun. Marco Polo, a condensed version of the Lost Seven-Part Story. Half an hour? How do you do that in half an hour? I'm curious. That must be what that is a picture from. I don't know how you combine a seven-part story in a half an hour. So, two Arabic soundtrack? Cool. So, yeah, I'm going to get to actually watch some old-school Doctor Who, the first three stories. Again, I've seen An Unearthly Child and The Daleks, uh, but I'm looking forward to re-watching them, seeing if I kind of change my mind here. So, we'll set that over here. I wonder how many discs that is, actually. Let's have a look. You know, draw the suspense out a little bit. Let me tease you guys a little bit more. Yeah. Let's open this up real quick. Yeah. Let's see how many discs this is. So we have an unearthly child there. The Daleks there. And it looks like uh, the Edge of Destruction there. So it looks like three discs. Okay. Cool. I like that artwork right there. That looks really good. So, all right, let's see what we got next. Looks like, let's see. Do, 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 do. The Dominators. I have never seen The Dominators before. I know it doesn't have the best reputation, but then again, neither does the Crotons, and I really enjoy the Crotons, so I might like The Dominators. It will be nice to experience it for the first time. It's like a, some behind the... Seeing stuff, audio commentary, recharge, equalizer, making of. I like making ofs. Ooh, Derek Sherman's even involved. Very nice. Yeah, it doesn't look like a lot of behind, behind the scenes stuff, but that'll still be fun to look at. I'm willing to bet that's probably just one disc, I'm betting. And the last one that I ordered, which I'm also really looking forward to seeing, is the Mine Robber. Everybody always talks about how good the Mine Robber is. I always hear about how good the Mine Robber is. And I, all of these, actually, I got these all from Walmart, and they were pretty good price. This one was only uh, $15.99. The beginning was only $13.99, and the Dominators was only like $19 something. So it was like all told, it was like a little over $50. And again, these aren't going to be out for a while in the box sets, more than likely. And I had been wanting to see them. So I figured, you know what? Why not go ahead and get them just to have them on the shelf? Audio commentary. Ooh, even David Maloney 
It's an older audio commentary. That'll be nice. Uh, a retrospective on the story. Again, uh, David Maloney and Derek Sherwin. Nice. A 22-minute look at Fraser Hines' career. It's going to be nice watching some of the behind-the-scenes stuff as well after I watch the stories. So, yeah, we've got five Doctor Who stories here. Again, I've seen An Unearthly Child. I've seen The Daleks. And I've seen episode one of Edge of Destruction, but it's very vague in my head. And then I've never seen The Dominators or The Mine Robber. So I'm quite excited. I'm going to be trying to watch these over the weekend. I'm not quite sure which order they'll get watched in. I think I'm going to start with The Dominators, honestly. And then I'll try to be getting reviews up for those soon as well. So let me know what you think of these stories. And also, click the like button. Click the subscribe button. Click the bell for notifications. The channel really has been growing lately, and I really appreciate everyone who has uh, subscribed. I also have a Patreon. If you like what I do and want to support what I do, which includes getting more Doctor Who stuff, there is a link to my Patreon in the description below, uh, which also will... You know, take you to my Patreon naturally, so you can check out all the different tiers, see if there's anything there that interests you. I certainly appreciate you taking a second to check that out. Most importantly, though, thank you for watching.